Hey everybody, Spaz here. Um, I'm going to show you some of the CDs that I've written liner notes for, or the CD reissues. Um, normally, uh, as everybody knows, I'm really massively into um, things like uh, 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 punk, power pop, new wave, synth pop, you know, stuff from the late 70s uh, up through the mid 80s. Um, that's where, you know, where my heart lies, but my interest and my love and my passion extends far beyond that stuff. Um, so I've been, uh, been very lucky to, to have been given the task of writing liner notes for a lot of CD reissues. I'm going to share those with you now. I'll save the, you know, eighties and seventies stuff, you know, the popular stuff, uh, for later, but I'll start off with, uh, some of the R and B disco high energy and stuff that I've been writing liner notes for specifically for big break records. I believe all of these that I'm going to show you right now are all for big break records. Um, I'm going to start off, even though it's a controversial cover there, that's Charo, uh, Charo on the Salso or orchestra. Um, this was just the top one on the pile. Uh, so don't, uh, and of course I call it coochie coochie. Um, but what I wanted to show you as I open this, uh, you know, the booklets are really nice because they've got, uh, pictures of, you know, the, um, artists and like the album sleeves and the single labels and the single sleeves and stuff. But down here, um, let me see here. I'm sorry. I'm not as prepared as I should be, but right here, no, not right there, right here, Steven Spashny. So, uh, I wrote the text for that. Uh, some sometimes we call it um, uh, essays, liner notes, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just really good. I call it really good. Um, but uh, speaking of Charo and Salsa Orchestra, I've done some other Salsa Orchestra as well. And everybody knows Salsa Orchestra, a very popular and very prolific disco unit. Um, but there's also, I've done uh, releases for Ara. Uh, that's related to uh, like Steve Arrington and Slave. Um, I've done the Bakers, or Baker Harris Taylor, uh, or B Bakers, Baker Harris Young um, release. And uh, most of these have bonus tracks, by the way. Uh, Cato Bell, or Cato Bell, I still don't know how to pronounce it because I'm not Scottish. Uh, Chucky Chas, Jungle Fever, sexy. Um, Car Carolyn Franklin, who is actually Aretha's sister, uh, did a lot of notes for the second GQ album. Nice and Slow by Jesse Green. Uh, that Nice and Slow song is fantastic. Uh, Dan Hartman, Relight My Fire, does a great version of um, Free Ride on this, and because uh, he wrote it. Uh, 5,000 Volts. Great song called I'm on Fire on that. Leon Haywood, naturally. Patrick Hernandez, Born to be Alive. Uh, Lolita Holloway. Two releases from Sissy Houston. That's Whitney's mom. And actually, Whitney appears in one of these records. The Jazz Crusaders, who eventually changed their name to the Crusaders. Uh, Carmen McRae. Monk Montgomery, uh, Silver Convention. Uh, this is. I just I don't have enough room here. Uh, Silver Convention. This is not the album with Fly Robin Fly, but uh, it's one of their albums, and it's actually a fantastic record. Uh, I already said Monk 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 Montgomery, uh, Sweatband, Bootsy Collins, and uh, Viola Wills, and believe it or not. Weather Girls, yes, It's Raining Men is on this album. I did liner notes for that. Fifth of Beethoven by the Walter Murphy Band. Bump, 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 bump. And uh, one of my absolute favorites that I've done, Dick Jensen. This is a really fabulous record. Um, and now let's go to the sort of more pop-oriented stuff here. Um, Divine, uh, made in England. I actually finished notes for another Divine uh, reissue, CD reissue that's coming, and uh, I'll share that with you later. Uh, let me see here. I've also done some new wavy type things. Um, one, the juggler. 
fantastic band uh, out of the UK. Did lineups for that. It's the album plus bonus tracks. Just fantastic stuff. I did um, the first uh, reissue of Sidekicks by um, Thompson Twins, or it's uh, Quick Step and Sidekicks. Uh, and this is the one that came out on Superfecta. I did a liner notes for that. I did a liner notes for Flock of Seagulls Listen. Now, this one here is the cherry red version. I didn't do the liner notes for that. But I did it for the Superfecta version, the same label that put this out, except I don't have a copy of the Superfecta. So that's the one I'm missing. So if you have Listen by Flock of Seagulls on the Superfecta label and you want to part with it, let me know. Um, let me see here. In regards to Power Pop, one of my favorite genres, um, Not Lame put out a compilation by a band called Hawks. Good line us for that. Um, two fabulous things here. 2020. They're two albums, first two albums, plus bonus tracks, and Shoes, a compilation. Um, first off, this right here, uh, I suggested this to the label, so they let me be sort of the executive producer of that. And uh, great liner notes there, if I do say so myself. This one was fabulous. I pretty much almost entirely picked the track list for this. And uh, the band, I think, maybe changed, took out one song and added another, but pretty much... Um, I picked the tracks, wrote the liner notes. Uh, very excited about that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's a great one. Second British Invasion. Uh, Here Comes the Rain Again. I did the liner notes for that. And uh, it's a great uh, collection of cover versions on the Curry Cuts label. Um, definitely check that out. And finally, um, I did a blog entry on this of Hands and Hearts. Uh, I put this together. It was a benefit CD uh, music for the Tsunami Disaster Relief Fund. And uh, a lot of great bands on there. I wrote uh, the liner notes. Uh, some of the bands did write um, some of their own things. I asked some of the bands. Uh, I believe The Fix did. And, and a couple other bands may have written their own little little um, notes uh, talking about the song. But otherwise, that's it. Um, I've got a lot more coming, and I will share those with you uh, at another time. I'm already over seven minutes here, and I'm sure you all switched it off about seven minutes ago. So thank you very much, and hopefully I can do more videos like this, but probably not. Thank you. I just have to hit the little red button there to make it stop. The little red button, that is right there.